Good day, everyone. You are welcome to this week's Business and Investment Tips program, a production of Christ Church Radio. My name is Ayodeji Ebo, an investment professional. This week, the focus is on understanding Nigeria's third quarter GDP numbers. The National Bureau of Statistics recently published Nigeria's third quarter 2020 gross domestic product numbers, which showed that the economy shrank by 3.6% year-on-year an improvement from a 6.1 year-on-year contraction in the second quarter of 2020. GDP is used to keep track of how an economy is doing and measures the value of all final goods and services produced in an economy in a given period of time, usually a quarter or a year. Technically, an economy is said to be in recession when it records two consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth. Hence, Nigeria fell into economic recession in Q3 2020, the second time in five years and the worst recession since 1980. Nigeria's GDP report captures 19 sectors, but only five sectors account for 75.8% of activities in the economy. These are oil, agriculture, trade, which includes wholesale and retail, manufacturing and ICT sectors. According to the MBS, 92% of agriculture's GDP calculation is from the informal sector, while trade is 56%. The others, oil, manufacturing and ICT, have a much lower informal component at 0.4%, 12% and 10% respectively. Sectorially, the oil and gas sector dipped further to minus 13.9% year-on-year from minus 6.6% in Q2 2020 as oil production fell by 17.2% year-on-year and 6.6% quarter-on-quarter to 1.69 million barrels per day due to greater compliance with the OPEC Plus Production Cut Agreement. The non-oil sector improved to a negative 2.5% year-on-year in Q3 2020 from minus 6.1% year-on-year in Q2 2020 due to the positive knock-on impact of the lifting of COVID-19 restrictions in the third quarter. A further breakdown shows that the manufacturing sector also improved to minus 1.5% year-on-year in Q3 2020 from minus 8.9% year-on-year in Q2 2020 and trade showed better performance with minus 12.1% year-on-year in Q3 2020 from minus 16.6% year-on-year, while the construction sector swayed positively to 2.8% year-on-year from minus 31.8% year-on-year in Q2 2020. Looking ahead, we expect continued recovery in Q4 2020 though the pace may not be as inspiring as initially expected on the back of the civil unrest in October, which led to a widespread destruction of properties and imposition of curfews. Nevertheless, the leading economic variables showed that the impact may not be as bad as initially anticipated. The CBN's Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index PMI, improved in October, though still in the contraction region, but finally printed in the expansion region of 50.2 points in November after enduring six months of contraction due to the pandemic-induced lockdown. The PMI is a monthly survey conducted by the Statistics Department of the CBN and shows the changes in the level of business activities on a monthly basis. Also, the non-manufacturing PMI improved in both October and November but remained in the contraction territory. From the demand side, VAT collection, a proxy for consumption spending, did not decline significantly in October compared to the steep decline recorded in April when lockdowns were imposed. Still, the oil and gas sector will remain in a deep recession due to the current oil production cut agreement with OPEC+. Plus. Thank you for listening. Please join us same time next week for another interesting and insightful session. Comments and feedback kindly forward to CC Radio at rccgchristchurch.org or send SMS to 070-82-46-3747. Stay blessed. <music>